Mega Gold is a hybrid sweet pepper. And in our garden, they grew to about five feet tall. And each of the plants had a good number of very large peppers. I got the seeds for this pepper for Christmas, and I think my son got them from Gurney's, if I remember correctly. Because the plant grows so tall and has so many heavy peppers on it, it's a good idea to provide support. And as you can see many times, there are quite a few peppers in just a small area. We recently used some of these peppers for a stuffed pepper recipe, and they worked great for that. Each pepper had very thick walls and was very meaty and tasted very good. They were a little bit slow to ripen, but I think part of that was the fact that I didn't get my peppers started early enough this year. I usually try to focus on heirloom varieties so I can save the seeds, but this one's good enough to try again. As you can see from this limb, if you don't provide support, they will end up on the ground or they will break. I wanted to let as many of these ripen as I could. So at the end of the season, I had a lot of peppers still on the plants, both partially ripe and green. So our final harvest was a really big one, as you'll soon see. Keep in mind that most of these peppers in this final harvest were from just two plants, even though there were a few from a third plant. And a few days later, when I was finishing harvesting on some of our other peppers, I found a few more that I had missed. I think this might be a great pepper for entering into your local state fair. No matter how impressive they are to look at, the most important thing is that they taste good. So it's time for a taste test. Okay, now we're gonna find out if this tastes as good as it looks. As you can see, it's a very large pepper. It's not fully ripe, but I think it's close enough for a taste test. So I'm gonna cut the top of it off here. We can see how it looks inside and get an idea of the wall thickness and that sort of thing. Looks very good inside. Those are really thick walls. Very thick. A beautiful pepper. I'm going to cut off a corner here and we'll see what it tastes like. Let me get that up there where you can see a little bit better, see how thick that wall is. It's really nice looking pepper. Very good pepper. I put this in the refrigerator to chill. It's got a very sweet taste. Got a lot of moisture in it, almost juicy. Yeah, that's a very good pepper. I could eat quite a bit of that raw. It'd be good cooked, it'd be good in a salad. And since they are very large, it'd make a great pepper to use in a stuffed pepper recipe. And I think that's what we're gonna do with some of them for too long. Yeah, I really like it a lot. If you never tried this one, I'd say it's worth a try, for sure. It's very good. Yeah, 
If you're just now finding this channel, be sure and subscribe. We'll see you next time.